Hello, this is Cooper. And today I'm going to be helping draw this video. Drawing this guy that you see on the screen. Cursor. Cursor. Um, Ooh. I don't actually know what it is. It's a cursor. But apparently it's his name is Cursor, spelled it's like a she. this. Oh, it's a she. And it is from what game is it from? Mario Maker Rabbits. We basically just finished that game like I don't know, almost an hour ago. Cool. So you finished this with your dad, and now we're going to draw him for it. Whatever it is. It's Rosalina. Cool. Okay. So, everyone, let's get ready. All you need is a piece of paper. Beep. And a pencil. Beep. A pencil's always a good place to start. And let's get started. Nate, grab your pencil. Right. Okay. So, you know what, guys? Just to give a really quick start. I would say the hardest part of this guy is the hands. Um, for a really quick anatomy lesson, hands, an easy way of thinking about hands to start off with is think of them like kind of a, I don't know, a plate or a ball. Let's just draw a ball like this with some sausages coming off them. And one is short and the rest are kind of a bit longer. That's a really quick, easy way of thinking about hands because they can be really tricky when drawing them. Anyway. Let's get started. Let's get so, to start off with, I would probably start with the hands. Um, if you have a look very closely at this picture, Let's see his there. front hand takes up the good half, a good half of the page. So I'm going to start. I'm going to quickly draw a really faint line down half of my page, and it doesn't have to be super precise. It's just to give yourself a marking because his hand is, yeah, it takes up about half, half your page. I would start off with his thumb, which is about halfway down the page. So yes. you don't have to draw this line, I'm just gonna draw it to show you. His hand, his thumb is about here, right? So I'm gonna start on my line there. If you didn't draw that line, that is totally okay. okay. But I'm gonna start with a kind of a, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of a thumb. No. Like my injured thumb. It's almost an oval, sort of. I don't know. A bean. Kind of looks like a bean. I don't know. It looks like an edamame. <laughs> See what it eat those? They're good. And then I'm going to start from about here. If you want to draw dots for yourself, you can. So I'm going to draw a first dot here. Boop. And then I'm going to draw one about here, diagonal. And then I'm just going to join them up. It's a little bit curved. So let's draw a little curvy line down like that. Okay, now for the rest, for his hand here, he's got something covering it up. But if you look at it, his hand would actually come around here like this. So I'm going to, for now, I'm going to just draw in that bit of his hand. So I'm going to draw sort of like a half circle. It's kind of like a weird funky S. It is a little bit. Oh, and yeah. you can take it up a little bit further, so it kind of comes up like that. I don't know. What do you want to call that? I, I don't know what you want to call that shape. Yeah. Just draw a little bit more up here, and it kind of makes a little bit of a point like that. Oh, Everyone's thumb kind of does that. I need. Don't forget. Yeah. 
don't forget that if you interrupt something out, if you make mistakes, that is totally okay. I will be using a Sharpie to trace over all this, so... I mean, I always say I always color in first. Well, we're not coloring in first. So I'm anyway, to you want to draw your knuckle a little bit here, and then you're going to draw it knuckle. to about here. So if you want to draw a dot, draw yourself a little dot like that. And then just kind of connect it up. It curves a little bit. Oops. And remember, your lines don't have to be perfect. Like mine. This is, you know, it's totally it's okay art. to make mistakes. It's art, my dude. <laughs> And I put that in in quote marks because you know sometimes you might think you made a mistake, but you know sometimes you can fix it up and it ends up being really good. Anyway, so from that dot, we're going to draw. We can draw ourselves another dot, sort of up here, a little bit diagonally, and then we're going to connect that one. Whee! Now, his fingers are now bent, and they're a little bit bent towards the camera, which is, always makes things a little bit weird, so we're going to draw, kind of, draw a little smiley face. Smiley face! Yep. And then, oh, more there, and then from there, we're going to draw the rest of his finger, which kind of bends underneath, like that. Like this tiny other smiley face. Mm -hmm. Smile and then like we're just gonna draw a small line like that because the top of your finger is is kind of flat. And then from there, you you can draw yourself another dot if you want to about there. And then if it's easier, you can just connect the dots like a dot to dot. dot, to dot. And then we're going to draw another curve kind of. Down. Look, mine went a bit too far. So now I'm gonna even look. I'm gonna rub it down. It's an edit. Just saying, uh, my way is kind of harder because I'm on a piece of paper and boom. Okay, so we're gonna come around right here and we're gonna curve down and down like this. Yeah. And you're gonna stop about here. You don't want to stop all the way down here. Like go like all the way down here. <laughs> And then you're just gonna go up a little bit. So it looks like you got a little V there. And then you're gonna draw from about here, you're gonna draw sort of another sort of a smiley, smiley, weird, a weird smiley face. Or like a Lego hand. Maybe. Maybe. And then you're gonna go up a bit further. Oh, it's a weird C. It's like Remember, a cursive hands C. can be really tricky. And you're gonna go around like this. That's why. You... And I'm surprised and on how long. You're gonna bring it down just past the smiley face, down to back. It looks like an A. It now starts to look like an A. Now the nice. next finger goes sort of the opposite direction, so you want to make that kind of a V. I'm going off the page here, but that's okay. Go off the page. It's okay. Okay, so Nate. Okay. <laughs> then mine's gone off the page a bit, but that's okay. Yeah. Then you're gonna draw kind of another. I don't know, this one's not really a smiley face, it's too long. Mm. Let's just call it another bean. Then draw another yeah, bean. Yeah, another bean. Go the bean. Master of beans. And then that finger is kind of covering up the rest of his finger. So then you're gonna come around from here. You're sort of gonna. I'm gonna show you on Nate because mine's right. I have a <laughs> so Nate is okay. I'm gonna come down here like this. And we're gonna go up, and because I ran out of space, but Nate hasn't. So we're gonna come up like this on his, and we're gonna come down. I'm gonna draw another bean like this. There we go. That looks pretty beany. Don't you agree? Um, and then while we're at it, we can even in, add in a fingernail here. You can kind of see his fingernail. Same for this one here. And this one. And you can kind of see just the top of that one there. 
Okay, and then, so then from here, we're going to go right here. You can draw dots, so I'm going to draw myself a dot. And then I'm going to draw Nate a dot to dot. So we're going to go yeah, dot to here. And then we're going to draw a dot here. And then we're going to come all the way around up to about here. Alright, Nate, you connect the dots from there to there to there. And remember, you can always rub out, you can go over things, you know, and don't forget, this is just your sketch, so it does not have to be perfect, first go. You can always, you know, fix things up a bit later. But remember, hands are really tricky to draw. Then, to make it look like a palm of a hand, we're just going to draw a line like that. You can't see it super clearly on the picture, but hands have, if you look at your own hands, they have the lines on them. And if you draw that line, look how that makes it look a little bit more hand-like. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so, moving on to the rest of this guy. I'm just going to put this out. Okay, so his head is kind of, you know, I'm going to draw myself a quick circle. It's kind of about, oh actually, it's even closer. It's kind of about here. So if you want to draw yourself a guide circle so you know where it is, that is totally okay. Oh yeah, I, I suggest getting rid of the line if you, right now because... You can get rid of the lines if you want to. I normally save that for last. Mm. Um, that's kind of my way it's annoying. But so for this guy, this guy's head obviously isn't round shape. Round. So I'd probably start here. I'd just draw a line up like that. So like a circle. Oh well if you want to draw yourself a guide circle you can. But you don't have to. Normally I probably wouldn't. Um but this is just for the sake of anybody watching. So draw a line up like that. Green. And then from there, draw another one down. Whee. And then he kind of has like a little thing. I don't <laughs> know what you want to call it. I don't know. But anyway, right. that line is curved. And then it just comes back in like this. It almost looks like he's wearing like a little wizard hat or something. And then from there, you're just going to come down. This. And look, I've gone out of my circle, but you know, oh well. <laughs> and then you're going to come back down sort of to about here. So obviously it doesn't end, like it doesn't close the shape. So you just want to come down to here. And uh, then from here, it's just a big line all the way down little bit curved and then same for this one he, his body kind of looks like a tent and then in the middle sort of on the side here because he's turned to the side a bit you've got another sort of smaller triangle here. Yep. and then up here he's got this little star So like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and draw it my way. Sure. Uh. Okay, and then for his, uh, I, I don't know, face, I, I don't know if that's what you call it, but uh, it has one I line. would probably start by drawing a line, this line from this little corner here, up to about here. So I'm gonna draw this line. And make it a little bit diagonal because that is how you will make it look kind of 3D ish. If it was flat, it wouldn't look so 3D. Then we're going to draw another line from about here you know, down to about here. And it's Alright, 
And then, go for the second. next hand, now, because the next hand is far away, so that means we want to draw it a lot smaller. So, we're going to start it about here. You can draw a dot if you want to draw yourself a starting point. I'll just wait for me. Sorry, um, I'm just trying to do my thing because I... Me. Uh, where, where? Okay, so we're starting with a little, you can draw a dot if you want, and then we're just going to draw a little line up. Okay, now, hand, like I said, hands, hands can be pretty tricky, so this is, we've sort of got to pay a little bit of attention, so we're just going to draw a little curve like that. Okay, and then I'm going to draw the other side of his arm. Then I'm going to actually, you know what? If I was drawing this myself, I would probably draw the palm of his hand first, which goes from kind of goes like this. Mm. Now for your funny sausages. Saucy. Sausages have multiple joints. So one goes up, then you've got another one, and then one more that goes down. But now, what's the decided to draw and then sausages? Then you're gonna follow it around. And curve your sausage around. Then the next one starts about here, next to it. And this finger he's got sort of going up a little bit more. And then this one here is also kind of up. And then when you've done this one, you're going to connect all the way down the rest of his arm. Now for these, uh, I don't know, are these tentacles? Are they ribbons? I don't know, Nate. What are these things going around? Oh, like, oh, uh, it was at like the bottom of cursor. Like so I think they're kind of like tentacles. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to draw a start by drawing this one here. These are kind of like ribbons. So, and it goes in front of his palm. So I'm going to draw a line, kind of curvy, down like that. And then about here, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of it. No. Okay, and then if you've got what I've, if you've drawn a little bit of the palm here, you can rub it out if you want to. Or you can do that later, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then he's got another one kind of coming around like this, so it's kind of bends around like that, and then there's another one that, oh well, I don't have space, so I'm just going to draw it coming in front of his body. You don't have to do that, again, you know, it depends on what you've got going on. Remember, it does, they don't all have to be the same. You might have done something a little bit different, and I'm sure it looks awesome. Also, everything is awesome. Okay, and then this one continues around like this. And then draw the other side. And then this one bends around. So this one's a little bit tricky in that it it it, it bends. So I'm gonna draw one line kind of going up like that. Can draw yourself dots too if that if you find that easier. Make sure it's kind. It looks like it's coming from this one though because it is the same one. Then from about oh from here let's draw a little line down like that. And then you're gonna connect it like this. So it almost looks like you've got a bendy triangle. So and cool. then from about here, so you don't want to do it right down here, from about just on the side of your triangle here, you're going to start and you're going to draw the other side going all the way down and make sure it looks like it's connecting to this line. So you're going to bring it all the way down here. And 
there is one more kind of here coming from the side. I'm just going to start here, but I'm going to draw a line sort of going like that. Again, you know, this does not need to be perfect. Heck, you might decide that you want your, um, uh, I don't know, tentacle thingies. You might decide that you want them to go in an opposite direction, and you can totally do that if you want. And then I'm just going to draw, this one's kind of thinner, so we're just going to draw another line a bit closer this time to the one you just did. And we're just going to bring it all the way around like that. Oh, and then we're going to rub this a little bit. Other side. Now this guy, I would probably, this one, let's do this line kind of going around the bottom of his arm. And it curves around like that. And then, like the other one, we're going to draw a little line here. And we're just going to make out kind of a wonky kind of triangle again. And then from there, we're going to bring it all the way around and make it kind of thicker as you come around. This one, we're going to start about here. And we're going to draw like, it's kind of an S shape. All the way down like that. And this one's kind of just ends in a point, so then we're just going to draw... Oh, actually, you know what they've done? They've done it so it comes down like this to here. You don't have to do it like this, you can do it the easier way and just draw it um, on the opposite side of this. But they've done it so it kind of looks like it's bending around a little bit again. Because this one, we didn't really finish this one, so then we're going to continue this one, and it just comes around like that. This guy, kind of, his hands and arms, we didn't finish this arm, so I'm just going to quickly draw in a bit of a wrist here. But this guy's, uh, hands, arms, I don't know, they're kind of like not joined to his body. Yeah, um, because it's a cursor. So it's curse. He's just got these disembodied arms kind of thing going on. And then there's one sort of coming. And then that's basically it. So then if you had any guides that you drew for yourself, you can rub them out. And I'm going to go over it in like a pen or something that you like to use. And from now on, I might speed this bit up, and you can go in and colour. This guy looks like he's got a lot of blues and purples and stuff, but again, you can do really whatever colours you want. So, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining Goober. This was super fun. We'd yes. love to see what you guys do or come up with if you decide to follow along with us. Feel free to show us. Nate would love to see and hopefully we'll be back soon.
Thank you.